Okay, so what's your first name? Anita. Anita. All right, and I can see your neck looks awkward. Yeah. So, what's wrong with it? I had a very bad car accident. Right. So, was it a whiplash injury? What, what oh, happened? no, I was in hospital for six months. Right, okay. Okay, so what has happened to your neck? Um, well, it's, it's got um, osteoblipping, which means when your bones have had a trauma, yep. they grow spurs. Right. So basically, it, it, apparently it protects the joint. Right. It's, it's one of these things, right. it's a human uh, miscalculation. Right, okay, so just show us what, what level of rotation you've got. Oh. Okay, that's it? Yeah. All right, and how long has it been like that? 1989. Right, and you've seen a doctor? Yes. Right. So, because I work as a healer, which is, so I'm not a recognised health professional, yeah? Uh, I will tell you I work with spirit doctors, but I can't prove the existence of spirit doctors. See the problem I've got? Yeah. So, I have to check whoever I work on that they've seen a doctor, yeah? Because I don't want to be taking away the neck pain and there's a tumour in there or something life-threatening, yeah? No, I've had yeah. So you've had this for a long, long Lots time, and, and doctors haven't been able to help. No. So if we can try this, this, this new modality that doesn't, it's not really a new modality, it's a very old modality that you've been shown, um, that would be amazing, wouldn't it, if it would fix it for you? You'd be very happy. I would. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Now, I wear white so that the energy that's taken off, whoever sits at the front, doesn't affect me. All I do for this healing to work is I say a prayer for Anita. So I very quickly, just silently inside, I ask God, because the healing comes from God. I know to be absolutely sure it comes from God. And I ask God for a healing for Anita. And if a healing is granted, my hands start to move. It is that simple. My consciousness continues to be in my body, but I get joined in this space by one of the surgeons. So let me explain in, in a, a way, hopefully, you can grasp. How many of us have looked in the mirror, and when we look in our mirror, you look at yourself and you think, I shouldn't look like that. I don't feel like that. You ever had that feeling? Yeah. Can you agree then that the real you isn't this? The real you is sort of invisible in here. It's not a great big jump then to imagine that there might be two invisible beings in here now. Me and Dr. Augusto. It's called Dr. Augusto de Almeida, this one. Okay. Now, Dr. Augusto is quite a bit taller than I am. He's about six foot tall, and he's been in spirit world 200 years. Now, what's happening for you, Anita? What can you feel happening? Any warmth, any tingling? No. No, okay. <coughs> now, we've just been joined by another spirit surgeon, <coughs> Dr. Oswaldo Cruz. Dr. Oswaldo Cruz is full found piece of tissue in uh, Anita's neck that shouldn't be there and he's just taken it out. Now Anita, just try turning your neck again, see how it feels. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Story time. It's this side. That's a lot better than we started with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. You've only got my word for it. Anita could be an actress, couldn't she? But she's not. Yeah. All right, because the, the joys of doing live shows is you get to see people, you can talk to them at the interval, find out it is for real. was used to break up tissues that have got blocked. If ever you've got joints that feel like stiff or grunchy, very often it's crystalline structures that have formed in there, sometimes because of trauma in this case, but sometimes because of pollutants in our atmosphere, whether it's in things like vaccines, whether it's in things like sprays, hairsprays, aerosols, fly sprays, whether it's uh, poisons on our food, you know, like pesticides and herbicides, glyphosate. <coughs> right, Anita, try turning your head again. It's a lot better, isn't it? <laughs> Since how, how long ago still, was it? Since 19? It's still very stiff on that side. Yeah, cool. 1989. 1989, that's not bad, is it? That's 30 years. 
30 year anniversary. Happy cool. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, so what's happening now is one of the surgeons has got his scissors out. All right, sometimes I see a scalpel, but most commonly I will see scissors. And so now they're looking at what needs loosening. All right, you see, the thing is this, guys, our bodies look solid. To us, they look solid, they feel solid, but scientifically, mathematically, according to quantum physics, our bodies are 99.99% space. Why? Because there's a lot of space within the cells, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of space between the cells. So this is the more detailed work. This is the psychic surgery part. So uh, just for clarity, when Dr. Oswaldo Cruz came in and removed that piece of energy that started to loosen things up, that was psychic surgery. This that I'm doing now is psychic surgery. So it's like, a, it's like a, an operation is being performed. They don't use scalpels because if they were to do that, I would go to jail. Yeah, they're using just sound and light technology. Right, and again, Anita, you try your head out again. I'm going to do it at this side. Go tight on that side. It's a lot easier. Yeah, right. cool. All right, and so now I'm being directed just to stand closer. Usually when I'm working on a physical condition, they'll start me to distance and they'll move me closer and closer and closer. God bless. So all healing comes from God. I don't go to any particular church. I'm not any particular religious denomination. I can find God in nature. I can find God in children, in my partner. I perceive that God is everywhere. And it's almost like we're in this world of where there's lots of different frequencies, lots of different vibrations, and your experience of life is determined by the frequencies and the vibrations you pay attention to or you tune into. All right, God bless. So Oswaldo Cruz is the one, so Dr. Augusto is the usual one that works through me, but on this occasion, Dr. Oswaldo Cruz is the one that's doing <coughs> all that needs to. Typically, he works on spines. Any kind of paraplegia, it'd be Dr. Oswaldo Cruz. All right, God bless. Taking some measurements within the neck, so they can work out what needs to change in what way. <coughs> Another piece of matter has been taken out. Yep, Anita, if you can move your head again, I'm just going to be waving my arms up and down. The surgeons make my hands wave up and down. But just see how that's feeling. It's looking a lot better at this side, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, this on that side. A lot, lot better than when we started. Yeah. yeah, cool. Right, now they're coming in really, really close. I never manipulate the body. I have not got any qualifications in any kind of man manipulation. Uh, the surgeons have worked through me now for 25 years. Uh, they don't ever take me over completely. My consciousness is still here, so I take responsibility for everything that comes out of my mouth. And my job is really to demystify this for everybody, so that um, whether we're lay people, whether we're scientists or doctors, so that they can understand what is happening. Because the new medicine is going to be all about sound and vibration. We're going to move away from pharmaceutical drugs, which usually have side effects. Um, we're going to move towards being able to heal most conditions using sound. Now, what can you feel happening, Anita? What's happening now for you? Um, I got very hot about a few minutes ago, but yeah. now I feel cold. Now you feel cold? Yeah. Right, there's a bit more energy that needs to come out of the neck on this side. God bless. So I don't need to concentrate on the healing. I've got to be very, very present. Uh, if I was working on the brain, uh, then I probably need to focus on what I'm doing, but generally speaking, I can talk to you guys. Looking for me as a kid, I developed very strong powers of concentration, and I did so playing chess. When you play chess, you learn to concentrate, because to win a game of chess, you need to be able to think ahead more moves than your opponent. 
and so it's very good at developing concentration. E right, Anita, give it another go. It's a lot easier. It's a lot that. better now, eh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. They're going to keep on working with, with you, but mm -hmm. we're a hell of a lot better than when we started. Wow. Give a round of applause.